Ear, nose, and throat just drew me, perhaps because it's a combination of both medical care and surgical care. It deals with very young children to very old adults, uh, men and women. So there is, I mean, it's a very broad field. And uh, even though it's limited to healthcare in the head and neck area, uh, there's still a lot of health care that people need. In fact, the head and neck area is, is often cited as probably the most common area for illnesses in general. My approach to patient care is that there is a lot of medical information uh, that has jargon and medical words that aren't necessarily understandable, so I try to use English to describe what's going on. I try to draw a lot of pictures so patients can kind of have an idea of the anatomy, which is not really clear from the outside, uh, and then give them enough information that they know that uh, there are often surgical and medical approaches to to a lot of their problems. Sometimes there's only a surgical approach and sometimes there's only a medical approach, but uh, when there are options, I want patients to know what the options are and uh, how, how we want to proceed with that. I think every test that we do, every x-ray that we do, has a purpose. And there should be a, a thought that when I do a test, I have an idea in mind that the results are going to take me one direction or another. I'm not just looking for something in general, but I want to know specifically what are we going to do if the test results are one thing, say positive, or if they're negative, and then what's the next step after that. I think the most rewarding part of my job is when patients leave the examination room and they tell me that they understand better what's going on now than they have sometimes for years. Uh, that they have at least a feeling of what can be done and they feel like that um, they know what their health problems are rather than just being told that they have a health problem and here's a treatment for them.